This podcast is brought to you by the Disabled But Not Really Foundation, a local Kansas City nonprofit organization that pushes to instill a physical limitless mindset that breeds courage, confidence, and competence within the disabled community. You can follow and support Disabled But Not Really on social media or go visit their website at disabledbutnotreally.org. Their work and their mission is to really impact communities and make more people understand the benefits of inclusivity. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. And it is an official federal holiday. And uh, we, me and Wes are jumping on for a few minutes to say, um, first of all, Wes, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you. And um, same to the men over in your life as well. So yeah, I tried to pump, pump, pump them up, you know. Um, and also, you know, I, I, I forgot. Somebody told me um, as Black people, we are acknowledging and celebrating the independence um, of, of Juneteenth of those slaves who were still slaves in Galveston, Texas, even though slavery had been deemed um, over. Um, but somebody said, you know, hey, don't say happy Juneteenth because it's just, you know, for us as an acknowledgement and it's a celebration because until we're all free, none of No. April, you freezing up on me. Hold on, yeah. There's the promise we can. Are we all freezing up? Maybe, maybe. I can't hear April. Can y'all hear April? Oh, okay. April froze up on us, y'all. Um, I thought that was literally like a glitch, but I'm assuming <clears throat> I'm assuming it's a real thing. So um, we will get April back in here in just a second. I know she was talking about the June team. So I just kind of add, um, I just add my insight on the whole June team thing. But I'm, if, I, if I'm thinking what April was trying to say was that um, until everyone is free, we aren't free. I'm thinking that's what she was trying to say. So <laughs> we're going to go along with that. Um, but definitely just trying to uh, really shed light on Juneteenth. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of, you know, the happy Juneteenth thing myself. So I wouldn't really want someone to say that. But what I would encourage people to do is actually go educate yourself on um, what Juneteenth was about, um, why it's important now for um, the, the, the Black community to embrace it, um, and then for other communities to understand it, learn it, and, and support it the same way we support other causes. So I think like this is a great time. One, it became a holiday. So whoever didn't care about Juneteenth before, look at you. You get paid for it now. So um, just saying, uh, it's a big thing um, for the Black community um, here. Um, the story, um, you know, about the slaves and and uh, yeah, just and, and let me share this. So uh, April, I just kind of just jumped in on you. So. Uh, I seen a post from Barack Obama yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, um, he was sharing. It was a picture. It was a picture of uh, a group of slaves, and they were all looking at a clock. And I guess the clock was based on, um, if I can find it, the, the clock was supposed to be based on um, them waiting on the the time of the emancipation. Mm. Uh, proclamation to come in effect and it said um it just showed like the light dimming men women crowded um and it said that this it said that hung hold on it's talk about the painting that hung over the outside of the oval office um that's kind of the beginning of his uh caption while well, president there used to be a painting um of the night of 19th, uh, December 31st, 1862, that hung right outside the Oval Office. That probably struck with me the most. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that um, it has been this long for us to even be able to embrace Juneteenth, but to know that it was, 
you know, a painting that symbolized even Juneteenth to the core was being hung over the Oval Office. And I won't go in depth, but it does seem like it's, you know, our country has been built on glorifying the the, the pain of, of Black Americans. And, yes. and, and it's consistently being shown and like captions and titles and um, and that's why it's important for people to go learn and educate and understand that, you know, if everything was, you know, I don't know, it just really clicked because talk about the darkest hours. And I think like every year we relive those dark hours. And so I think like for this, it's just important for us to really, really just understand that we're still we're still going through certain things. But. You know, America was built on the backs of a lot of black people and it's not being embraced, embraced to that, that, that magnitude. Um, and there's so many things and so much work that's still undone that needs to be done. So, um, but outside of that, shout out to everybody that, you know, really, really um, found uh some type of Juneteenth event in your community. I seen some stuff in LA from some of my friends that way. I seen stuff in Kansas City. I wasn't present in KC. I was actually um, traveling at least Saturday. Um, and that's when a lot of the festivities were going on. So I hope everyone got a chance to check them out. It was hot, you know, but think about it. I mean, slaves were in the heat every day. Uh, I hope you didn't worry about the heat as much as you cared enough to go embrace the culture and support all the local, um, you know, businesses and advocates and uh, organizations that are speaking from, um, you know, the speaking from the heart and really pushing out like what they feel and know when it comes to Juneteenth and really just embracing others and embracing people and letting yeah it was good right so i'll say y'all um juneteenth is one of those holidays that um of course we just you know just made it official but it is one of those holidays that black americans have been celebrating for years and the education and knowledge of what black americans have done for this country um is poured out during this time and so it's very important um for your kids for your family um yeah and april has been freezing on and off so we know how that goes technical difficulties happen so um if april doesn't tap back in by the time i'm done we're just gonna do a quick wrap and you know have you guys have amazing new holiday right <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it is good to know that, you know, people can stay home and say, you know, that you're staying home because of Juneteenth. I mean, woo, all those slaves, all those years, I'm just happy that they can see that we finally get a day off. <laughs> yeah. Um, Father's Day, of course, Father's Day was great. So thank everybody for the shout out for Father's Day. Um, and I hope every all you fathers were, you know, had a great, great time and a great time with family and maybe didn't chill with your kids. Cause for some reason the Father Day method is that you're supposed to have your kids with you, but the Mother Day method is that the mothers is, you know. So I'm just saying, I hope some somebody got that the father could go out and have a cigar or somebody. Said, That's the trick. You just gotta leave. You just gotta leave the house. <laughs> yes. What's up, April? Nope. See, what is going on with the world today? <laughs> Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to try to get April back on this call real quick. Lord, I don't know what is going on with technic, you know, or technic, uh, technology today, but it's all good. It's all good because I guess you guys just wanted to see my beautiful face this morning. That's how I feel right now. You know, we could have had April. All right. So before I get off, just because we were just trying to really get on here and give a quick wrap. We didn't want Juneteenth to be something that we didn't pay attention to or focus on. Um, and so we really wanted to acknowledge that. Um, and that was really it. You know, 
of course, the Father's Day and acknowledging fathers, but I don't know how many people are going to jump on, you know, live today and talk about Juneteenth and recap it. But we really wanted to just put it back in people's minds and let you know, like, this holiday is very important. It's crazy that I'm saying it's a holiday, but this this moment in history is very important for our community, um, for our country, and even for the world to understand. And so please, please don't just take this day, kick your feet up and not understand that, you know, this day um, represents a lot of history in America and a lot of history that is still trying to be um, brought out and, you know, more communities that are trying to be empowered. So Juneteenth is very important. I want to find like a piece on it um, that kind of just really speaks from a different, different, uh, different magnitude, but of course, and then my, my, my teammate April still isn't on. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So let's see. I'm just looking up some information. Um, it's crazy to see the pictures and things of all the slaves and all of them just waiting. And I mean, goodness. I'm just looking at pictures, y'all, and it's it's mind blowing. And all I did was Google. All I did was Google. Um, <laughs> you can literally Google Juneteenth, and um, yeah, it's literally just Google Juneteenth, and you'll find some amazing history. But what I'm looking at is it says it's no secret that Black voices and Black holidays have never been given the recognition in the United States or elsewhere that they deserve. One such holiday is Juneteenth, also known as Jubilee Day or Freedom Day. I like Freedom Day. Um, Jubilee too. We got a gas station here called Jubilees. <laughs> I love Jubilees. All right, anyway. Um, a contraction of the date, June 19th, it marks the official emancipation of slaves in America. Although we know now that slavery continued even thereafter, while absent from many people's history classes, June 19th, 1865 was monumental, was a monumental date in American history. It's jarring to compare Juneteenth to the 4th of July, another American date driven by so-called freedom, but one that has been, that has enjoyed far more recognition and it is especially jarring to recall that on July 4th, there were Amer many Americans who could not enjoy freedom as allies. It's essential to be educated about holidays like these. Here's everything, uh, well, then I'll just give you more information about it. So what I got from this is, it's crazy that June 19th and July 4th are right next to each other, but we celebrate America's freedom, but we don't celebrate, well, we didn't celebrate the freedom of black people that actually built America on their backs. And that's the important part that we have to be paying attention to is that, you know, this day, um, nothing would have been built in America if it wasn't for black people anyway, but you, we, we can go on another day for that conversation. But this day should be very, very recognized the same way we recognize the 4th of July. Um, I don't think we will pop fireworks though, but just saying, let's represent it. Let's do good, um, you know, uh, with just making sure that everybody is recognized and that the history is recognized and um, that it's becoming empowering. We're not looking back on it and we're feeling sorry, but we're embracing the joy that people should feel when they think or believe that they are free. And in this country, we are still trying to get individuals to understand that they are free here. So just wanted to share that. I hope each and every one of you guys truly understand that Juneteenth is a holiday that should be recognized, should have been recognized a long time ago. But let's recognize it now. Let's go ahead and recap what our holiday looked like for the weekend. Share those moments with your friends and family, your coworkers. Just let them know what you learned. Let them know what you embraced. Let them know what you felt because I'm sure it was love because that's what we bring. 
love, joy, and hopefully we can all one day find out and feel the freedom that Juneteenth led us through. So peace, love, hopefully everybody has a good one. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and listening to the podcast. If you would like more information on the guests and the stories that you've heard today and to hear stories from others, subscribe to the podcast. We also invite you to subscribe to Open Up Pittsburgh's newsletter as well as our YouTube channel. We want you all to take care and remember to make your own stories. This is April. Peace.